Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Sometimes faith brings two people together in such an amazing way that some stories are hard to believe. No one knows for sure how two lonely people come to meet. Is it by chance or because of faith? Today, I bring you Amy Abramson. The girl was born in a prosperous and wealthy family. Her childhood began in Sweden, and after finishing school, she moved to London where she graduated from university. Life turned out perfectly. High education, and she was an actress in Amsterdam, and by the age of 29, she was the director and art director of an entire theater. It seems that everything in her life was planned to the smallest detail, except one thing. The girl was lonely. Due to her work schedule, chores, and business, she was never able to find the man of her dreams, and all of her friends had already married for a long time, and some already had kids. Amy passed long, cold evenings alone. Of course, men pay attention to the young woman, but maybe she hasn't met the right man for her yet. It was 2005, and Amy was already 29 years old, and in a week, her birthday was about to take place. For some reason, this did not make her happy in any way. To forget about the sad thought, the girl decided to arrange for a vacation for herself to go to Amsterdam. Once after a busy day, the girl was waiting for her friend on a bench. She watched couples passing by, walking hand in hand and sharing the love. Somewhere deep inside, she felt envy seeing them. She was bored because there was no person she could share good and bad moments in her life. At that moment, she made a wish. After all, it would be her birthday soon, and it may come true. It was a wonderful moment, which was spoiled by a poor fellow. Amy noticed an approaching homeless man. Usually, she sees such people and she runs away from them. She was just afraid of the homeless. Every step, the homeless person came closer to her, and Amy seems to freeze as the man was approaching her. The poor man asked what time it was, and Amy quickly answered him as she looked at her watch. Amy said she always runs away from such people, but that day she couldn't explain what happened. It was a long time that Amy was waiting for a friend, but she decided not to let the young man walk away, but decided to talk to him until her friend came. A few moments in the conversation, the girl realizes it was so easy to talk to him. The poor man looks happy, and she couldn't stop gazing at his eyes. When Amy's friend came, the homeless man decided to arrange a meeting for the next five days in the same place. Amy didn't take it seriously, and she thought the poor man would forget about it. But Amy couldn't stop thinking about the man. She decided to come to the meeting on that day. The man was already there waiting for him. They had a good moment together. The homeless man said he had once traveled to Europe, but all his money quickly ran out. It didn't work out as he planned at all. Since then, he's been drinking, and he spends any penny he gets on alcohol, which he confesses is bad. He had no parents. The two talked until evening. Amy told him she'll be leaving tomorrow morning. She wasn't sure they'll ever meet, so she left him her number. On the day of Amy's 30th birthday, she had a call from a voice that sounds very familiar. It was the homeless man. He wished her and besides the man was at the girl's house. In interview, Amy said she can't forget that day because since then the two became inseparable. The man settled in the girl's house and looked for a job. The two married in two years and in six years the couple had twins, a boy and a girl. It's been 15 years and they married and the family is doing well. Their kids only know a gist of how their parents met, but they don't know the full story. Their kids know that their father was once sleeping on a bench for a year. The couple appeared on a British channel where they talked about the book Amy wrote titled How to Fall in Love with a Man Who Lives in a Bush. It all began with a meeting. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.